Senate File 1577 is a bill for a constitutional am amendment <clears throat> which would embody within the Minnesota Constitution the requirement of presenting a photo ID and to uh, present uh, voting requirements uh, or add to the voting requirements that are currently listed in the Constitution, which are uh, currently age, citizenship, and residency. So the bill, therefore, is presented for the purpose of adding a fourth eligibility standard of photo ID and to bring an additional me measure of integrity to our voting process. While many people have photo IDs, there are still significant portions of our community, like Senator Harrington's mother, tens of thousands of Minnesota senior citizens who do not possess photo ID and obtaining one would be difficult at best and impossible at worst. The Constitution is the state's supreme law and it should be used to protect the rights of our citizens, not to turn rights into privileges. Unlike a statute that can be easily modified to adjust to societal changes, the Constitution endures and is much more difficult to change. We should not be adding references to specific technology such as photo ID that could go the way of the eight-track cassette. This proposal is simply a bad idea. Please protect the right to vote for over 700,000 Minnesotans and vote against this proposed constitutional amendment. I know that um, Senator Newman, when he started, said that it was not his intent to legislate by Constitution. So I would just submit that we already have a law that allows people ages 18 and over to vote and that we let the legislature do the work. We've already mentioned around this table many different aspects of this that need to get done and can be done by the legislature. So I think we already have a law in the Constitution that does what you want and we should do everything else legislatively. So I am curious why you think you need to do this by the Constitution. I think it's a good idea to do whatever we can to protect the integrity of uh, our voter system. And one of the ways that we now have in the 21st century is to provide for uh, identification of a voter. In other words, they have now, we now have the ability to prove who they say they are and that they live where they say they live. And that's really all I'm trying to do is to preserve and protect the integrity of our voting system. Uh, and I do not believe it is inappropriate to utilize the Constitution to accomplish that. To the contrary, I think it is appropriate. 